Hey guys, welcome to Living with Francisco. Today I'm going to show you guys how to change out a puck light in an RV using my 2017 Solitude by Grand Design. Now keep in mind that I am not a licensed electrician and this may not be the best or only way to do it, but I hope this helps. By the way, if you could please like and subscribe down below, I'd really appreciate it. And now that that's out of the way, here we go. My camper came with recessed LED lighting, which sadly began to fail and flicker. Really annoying. Luckily, these are pretty easy to swap out and find on Amazon. The one I'll be installing today is a Facon 4.5 inch LED puck light. It's a 12 volt DC, 4 watt, 280 lumen puck light with the option to mount using spring clips or screws. I bought a pack of six, which turned out to be way cheaper than anything I could find at the RV supply stores. The two pack is listed at $18.99, and the pack of six is listed at $55.66 both of which are eligible for Amazon Prime shipping. I've attached a simplified link in the description of this video and in the comments down below if you want a quick link to buy it. For the sake of transparency, I do get a small kickback if you use the link at no extra cost to you. And here we go. First thing you'll want to do is ensure that all current to the puck lights is off. I do this by turning off the main breakers, power out the source, disconnecting it, and disconnecting the battery's quick disconnect switch in my camper. A headlamp comes in handy while working on this since it can get pretty dark in the camper. And please remember ladder safety. Removing puck lights installed using spring clips can be a bit of a pain. I usually wear gloves while doing this to protect my hands since the clips will come loose and it hurts like crazy if it dings you on the knuckles. Make sure to place your fingers away from the falling clip as you pry away the puck light, angling the side that will unclip first downward and pulling firmly yet smoothly. The process is slightly easier when only having to remove screws. Make sure to note the correct connection. I like to mark the location of the black wire connection using electrical tape. The original puck lights had closed end crimp connectors, which can be removed by squeezing the crimped connectors in the opposite direction that they were crimped previously and pulling the connector off. Once removed, splice in the new puck light by twisting the wires together Inserting them inside a new closed end crimp connector and crimping it. Then repeating the process with the other wire. For the sake of safety, I like to wrap the wire nut and the wires with electrical tape to prevent any possibility of exposed wires making contact. Just in case you were wondering, the cap on the puck light can be removed by twisting it counterclockwise. Once the splicing has been finished, you can reinstall the puck lights by pulling the spring clips upward and inserting them into the recess, ensuring to keep your fingers out of the way, or screwing it back on. Turn your power back on to test the lights and remember to reconnect your battery disconnect to ensure your battery doesn't run out of charge. And there you have it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And once again, please remember to like and subscribe and check out some of my other videos linked in the description. Thank you guys and have a great day.